Uh, hello, um, I just had an awesome day, so I just want to do a vlog talking about it. Um, today I went to um, Armageddon Expo um, in 2014, that's this year, and um, I went with a group of friends as uh, in a Les Mis cosplay group. So uh, today I am dressed as uh, Marius from the musical Les Miserables. Um, specifically like in the movie when he's in his wedding scene because um, Cameron lent me his coattails so I'll just show you quickly so that's me for him. <coughs> so I got to wear coattails for the first time I've never worn coattails before and I've always thought they were pretty cool and today is the first time I ever wore them out in public so it was fun so yeah like uh, once again, um, it's like things just pop up in life and like I don't even know these things are going to happen and they just turn out really awesome like in the end. Like um, a few weeks ago I was doing, um, this will be a long video probably because I want to talk about everything, or most stuff. Uh, yeah, a few weeks ago um, I just finished um, being in the play with as um, it was like the very final show and I was catching the train home and all of a sudden I got a message from Susie on Facebook saying um, hey uh, would you like to like are you going to Armageddon or something like that I forgot exactly how it went she goes um would you want to cosplay um, in our join our cosplay group for Les Miserables for Armageddon I'm like oh yeah that sounds alright so when she messaged me I was thinking oh wow you know, I've finished my wizard, so I've got time now, so like, just why not? So the timing was just perfect, like, if she asked me, like, before that, I might have been, like, too focused on the, the um, play to kind of consider it, but it happened on the very night that the show finished, on the train home, like, I got a message, and I was like, okay, I'll go, oh, it sounds fun, like, let's just do this. And so, because I love Les Miserables, like, I love that musical and the story, and, um, I was thinking what character I would go as, and uh, I saw the list of characters that they already done. So she invited me into this group um, of friends, they made an event for this cosplay, and I looked at the list of people who had, were doing things, and I was like, oh, what haven't they got? And I thought, Bishop, I, I like the character of the Bishop, and I was thinking, no one's done the Bishop, so I'll do the Bishop. So, um, yeah, so I think that night, or the few nights after that, I started getting my stuff together for the Bishop, like robes and... I was starting looking for candlesticks and stuff, and then um in the group um Jeanette who's who was cosplaying Cosette, she said um someone she needs a Marius uh would someone please be her Marius because you know she just loves she would love to have a Marius and then um Cameron commented saying oh you know you can't have Cosette without a Marius, and so I was looking at that going oh well I haven't really committed fully to my thing yet um that's a lie actually I already had my stuff. But I was thinking, oh, I can't let her not, you know, have a Marius. That would just be weird. So, um, and I was also thinking, like, the bishop, because he's such a character who's, like, he would probably not like um, Cosette not having uh, Marius. So I was like, um, okay, I'll go as Marius. Because, oh, because actually Cam, the thing that brought that up was, like, Cam said he had these coattails. These are Cameron, my friend Cameron's. And he wasn't using them because he was doing Jean Valjean and as a convict and he said um anyone who wanted to to borrow them to be like a you know one of the um school boys or you know marius or something like that would um be welcome to borrow it and I was, so then that's what sparked the whole thing i'm gonna sneeze oh it's coming on mm. anyway <laughs> so then i said um yeah i'll go as marius unless someone else really wants to go as marius i'll, I'll go as marius so I was like, yeah, okay. So then I had to switch my brain over because I was already like, um, I already downloaded the songs, um, uh, you know, the ones that the priest sings, and I started to learn them and get into, like, learn more about this character that he's so awesome. Anyways, I didn't know a lot about Marius before this, so um, so then I went start for the next week or two. I started looking for some stuff. So Cameron lent me these um coattails, which are awesome. Uh, oh, they fit me perfectly, which is good. He got them from an op shop and was like, oh, awesome. And so I went to Frankston and um, I looked in the op shops and I found this um, vest in there for $6. Mm -hmm. It was so cool. It was in Salvo's. In, in, um, thing. It was funny, like I was trying them on. And, yeah, anyways, it was awesome. And, and these buttons, 
Can you see the buttons? Like when I got the vest, you know, we had the top button. No, it didn't even have the top button. Now I had the top button hole, had no buttons. And so I actually asked my mum if she could put buttons on. And she was like, oh no, we don't have that machine anymore. So my dad actually says um, he knows someone who has the machine to put on the buttons. So he actually went and put the buttons on this vest for me. And he actually looked for this really nice buttons. So if you can see, they're like silver with like little squiggles on them. They look really kind of uh, antique kind of thing. Like, so it really was awesome the fact that they did that. So that's, it was only six dollars. I love when I get stuff for cosplay and it doesn't cost a lot. It's like awesome. Especially from op shots. Anyways, so I did that and then I bought this um, scarf. It's called a stock tie off eBay. Off uh, someone from eBay. I think it's... The website is equine rider, e q u i n e r i d e r dot com dot a u. Oh, so she's from Australia. Um, and the person is Fiona. Yeah. So if you look that up, she made this um tie. This is awesome. I like it a lot. I like um coattails and I like these ties. Like I just looking in the Les Mis movie and seeing how all the guys had ties that kind of look kind of I don't know, cravats or ties or whatever you call it, but it looks so cool. I like it. Oh, I really enjoyed wearing it today. It's really cool. I really liked it. Um, so I just want to say how fun it was today. So I went to Armageddon and I've never really experienced being at a convention, being in a cosplay group where everyone has the same theme. Like, um, I think the last convention I went to, um, which one was that? Uh, Oz Comic Con. I actually, I think that was the first time I went as a character, like I cosplayed at a convention. So I went as Lumpy Space Princess and had a, a fantastic time. So each time, sometimes I go to cons and I just have different experiences. Um, like I remember the very first time I went to a con, I was kind of like not sure what to do at all. And I was kind of like just tagging along with people and not sure where, what, what's going on. I think after that, the next time I went, I went by myself and my friends were there, but I kind of had a plan. Like I'd go to this panel, this panel, this panel, and have a really good time too. Just but on, on my own kind of so it was a very different experience. I really want to blow my nose. Don't know why suddenly I have to do it. <laughs> hmm, okay, I'm back. Anyways, so this time the experience was so different because I've witnessed other people doing um, cosplay groups and it's always so cool, like they walk past like they might be doing all Disney villains or something, or Team Avatar, or something really cool like that. And so I've never been a part of it, and now I got to experience being a part of it. And it's really, really fun. Like, the experience is very, very different to being on your own, having fun, you know. It's just so different. Like, today I didn't even hardly do anything with the actual convention. I was just, like, I did browse around the trades hall, just looking around at stuff, because I <laughs> We were in there as a group, and we just lost each other. Like I just, cause I, when I, I sometimes when I see people in a cool cosplay that I, I, I like, I just ah, I have to get a photo with them. I really do. So I did that, and I just lost people. And so after that, I was I didn't know where they were, so I just kind of quite happily kind of just wandering around, just checking out stuff, and I really enjoyed like me time as well. So that was fun too. Uh, I do want to show you some pictures that I took with some people, like characters and stuff. Um, but also, yeah, back to the group thing, because that's the focus. Like, it was so fun being part of this massive group. Like, people who, who like Les Mis would go past and go, oh my god, you've made my day, can I get a photo with you? And um, a few times we actually, when they were <laughs> doing it, we were actually singing songs like, do you hear the people sing? Do, 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 do. You know, if I had more time, I would, would have really loved to have learned all the songs that Marius knew, but I didn't have time, because at work I was singing this ABBA thing as well, like I was learning thank you for the music, so I was focused on that too, so um, yeah, another really cool thing is like um, there ended up being three Mariuses, like um, there was me doing it, and um, Susie's friend Tamakiri, I think her name is, um, I don't know exactly her name, I would like to know the name, oh. Bear with me a little bit. I will try to keep you occupied until then. Do I was just gonna sing, okay? 
Do you hear the people sing, sing the song of angry men? It is the music of the people who will not be slaves again. When the beating of your heart echoes the beating of the drum. Um, <laughs> it's like he wants to load. Let's call her Tamakira, and she's awesome. She is so cool. And the other guy who played Marius, I didn't. Who who was was Marius was B's brother. He was Marius, and the three of us Marius has the had the best time. I swear. And we had so many jokes. It, it was it was like people were saying uh, we were saying um the Marii, which is like pure for Marius, or, or the Mariati, and and like we were just. We're everywhere together, we're making all these jokes how like we're the only ones that survive, everyone else dies, but you know, we'll make it to the end. Um, there was one thing where I was standing next to Tamakiri, at, I think I'm finished, I don't know exactly her name, but I think it's Tamakiri. Um, and then she said, I'm beside myself because there was two of us, <laughs> and we had so much, so much cool stuff, we had really, really fun stuff, like, and then. Yeah, it was awesome! It was really, really cool. And um, then after that, I think I'll skip to like, after that we decided to go to the stage door of Les Mis the Musical. So after the con we went to the city and hung around the stage door and we were all in costume, right? And I swear, when people, when this, when this cast of Les Mis came out of the stage door, they were like, they were like did double takes or they were like in shock and two of them actually like took photos of us like they took photos of us like it was so cool and I got to have photos with pretty much all the cast that came out like I was just like oh, I'll get a photo of you and they were all happy to do it but my nose get <laughs> um and my phone's not loading much so I'm gonna switch off the Wi-Fi just temporarily that might speed things up a little bit maybe it's because my battery low uh, okay. I want to show you some photos. I think you want to load. Okay. Uh, yeah, so I had an awesome time. Like, and this, none of this, I would have had none of, I, I would have had a completely different experience had I not said yes to this lame music cosplay thing. Um, I'll just show you some photos now. So um, I met at the train station. I met um, Ezra and Natsu um, from Fairy Tale. Um. All right. There's uh, Cameron and Jean Valjean. He's eating bread. Like, he's literally eating bread. He bought bread to eat. How cool is that? Um, that's Harry as Grantaire. Grantaire. There's a lot of these um, schoolboys that I don't know, like, um, from the cast. So... Cora. <laughs> I don't think you can see these very clearly, anyway. And, but basically, also, I got to meet um, the Les Mis cast as well. That was awesome. So, I think that's all I really want to say. Oh, here, how cool is this Tama, Tamakiri? I want to find out her name. Susie's friend. If I look up Susie, she'll be on there for sure. Because they're like, I would say best friends or something. They're together a lot. They're like Les Mis friends. Alright, so Tema Kiri went to um, inside the trade hall to get um, some Borderlands artwork because she loves Borderlands. And so obviously I came along and then the other Marius came along because we all go together, the three of us Mariuses. Uh, the uh, Bee's brother said he made this joke but me, myself and I, haha. <laughs> I don't know, it's, it was really funny. Um, it's not loading up. That's cool. Let's say it's Tema Kiri. Anyways, she was buying. She was, did this really cool thing, like, um, she wanted these two pictures for Borderlands, and it was four for $25. And so she said, oh, do you guys want, or three for $25. And she goes, oh, do you guys want a picture? Because, you know, I'm getting, like, this anyway. And so, um, 
uh, what's the other guy, Mara's, um, he tries this, um, what do you call it? How to Train a Dragon feature was really, really nice. And, uh, then, then, like, since I didn't get anything, um, the chemistry, um, bought me a badge. She got, let me choose my badge. So I, I ended up choosing, um, Cheese Ninja. It's like a cool badge. So it was just really nice of her. She's just really cool. Uh, so it was really cool. Yeah, we had, um, fun, like, at the stage door when the ma guy who played Marius came out, like, the guy who plays Marius in the musical, we were like, oh, all the Marius has got together and had a photo with him, the four of us, so I like that photo a lot. Um, I think I will end the let's, <laughs> I was, I was always going to say let's play because I do a lot of that, so I'm going to end the video here. I had an awesome time and I really am glad that I said yes to doing this cosplay group with them. It was so much fun. I loved it. Mm.